Welcome back. Now that you know what formative assessment is, its benefits, and who can perform the formative assessment, let's talk about formative assessment methods. Formative assessment approach can use various types of activities and assignments in order to determine the learning progress, give necessary feedback, and modify teaching and learning design if necessary. Teachers' feedback for students on their learning progress will be effective only if it is timely, caring, and relevant. A teacher plans well in advance and instructs students to keep the following possible structured formative assessment methods, such as personal student learning CBL journals or diaries. This is something that you learned about uh, in Unit 2 of this MOOC called the CBL Makers. Also, other methods may include student checklists, reflections, discussions, comprehension questions, concept maps, video responses, student peer reviews of the team members, teacher observations of the CBL process while students are working in groups, teacher-student meetings, either one-on-one -on -one or a teacher meeting with the entire group, or gradual work reviews using scoring group rubrics or something similar. Let us examine some methods more. Let's talk about teacher-student meetings, one-on-one, -on -one, or a teacher meeting with the entire group. During the CBL process, a teacher should schedule clear, regular meetings with either individual students or student groups. Regular meetings ensure that students interpret the feedback appropriately and utilize this feedback to make necessary changes. Here are some example questions which could be used by the teacher during regular checkpoints, such as, you could ask your students, where are you in the CBL process? What new knowledge or skills have you acquired by now? What has been your biggest success so far? Or what has been your biggest challenge so far? How is your group doing as a team? What are your top priorities for the next week? Another method that can be used for formative assessment is gradual work reviews using scoring rubrics. Let's talk about what exactly it is. A scoring rubric includes criteria, which are the characteristics to be assessed in a task, and performance levels, levels of quality for each characteristic. A rubric allows the teacher to assess the level of each criterion that a student has achieved. Feedback should be given to the student to explain what level they have achieved and why, and what exactly they need to do to progress. The possible steps to use a rubric are the following. You could introduce the rubric to the students at the very beginning of the CBL assignment, explain the characteristics and the levels of it. Then, you could use some example and apply the rubric assessment in it. Have the students try assessing the example using the introduced rubric. Guide them through the process. And during the CBL process, have the students attempt giving peer feedback to each other while using the rubric. Remember that the rubric can also be used as a summative assessment. Summative assessment is explained in the next video of this unit. Now, for more information on creating and using a rubric as an assessment tool, please see the reading resources. After covering the formative assessment topic, in this unit you can find the checklist of the main aspects as well as the task that can help you in planning your formative assessment. For more information and examples, please see additional resources in this unit on assessment in CBL. Thank you.